It was a time where oh, okay. it's a t- it was a time where a particular person cheated on you and had and what? and and Who? and, 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 and Who had, cheated on me, bro. It's Who? it's bro. You think I don't do my damn research? Who? It's all in the. F- uh, Who this well? Cause who this well? <laughs> who this well? You can put a good show. You I ain't for clout on it. You said you was hurt because. Uh, Stepped out on you. Oh, but that was the number one cheater in my life, boy. That boy cheated. That man had babies on me. That's what I'm. So, okay, I thought you, because you oh didn't say his, you could have just said his name. You, because you said we didn't want to. Oh, okay, don't say his name then. Can somebody help me out? I'm trying to be the respect. I'm, I'm giving you so much respect. Right. And you just over there just trying to. T- oh I'm giving you so much. Am I tripping? I'm giving her the most respect, right. the utmost respect. All right. But anyway, it was a time where that happened. And you yeah. was furious at that because, like, I guess the close, you were like, yo, you would never do that. Yeah. But I never then- cheated on him, ever. For four years, I'm at- I never cheated on that man. It was not But how. you stepped out and then went back home. No, no, sweetheart. I never cheated on him. I was, I was, I was. <laughs> I was a housewife, literally shopping every day. I love the While every time I got cheated on, money was in my account and I just shopped. I was really getting mentally abused, like literally, mm. for four years. So imagine the one time I decided to step out. Like, and when I mean step out, it was like I gave myself to somebody else after four years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it was like, I never cheated, mm. ever. Now, after that, you know. Wait, what? For sure. For I don't you. know who that is. I I really don't know these people. I swear oh, to God, bro. Yeah. Like y'all be thinking, like people be thinking I be being, like I don't. No, pay. but I never. I know this because of my research, bro. No, no, no. Like, I never. I yeah, but I never um cheated. He, I, yeah, I never cheated. Okay, because I was gonna ask you, did that like kind of make you think think twice about how things happen? Because like you like sometimes we could be again when we could always say what we wouldn't do in but a you situation. You had to think like the person I was dealing with was new. And the, you know, new upcoming artists. You know how the tour life is. They never, you know, like fame. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of stuff comes with that. The, you know, the jewelry, the money, the girls. You know, you're in a different city. The tour bus, your your boys, his the the guys around him was influencing him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I knew I was getting cheated on. I knew it. You know. And you was just okay with it. I mean, I was in the house. I didn't. I, Listen, I was in my eight bedroom house. I was shopping every day. I had a business at that point. I just had to get smart. I, I opened up a spa at eighteen. Like I wasn't tripping. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, a man's gonna do what he want to do. I learned that at that age. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Like I couldn't stop him. What am I gonna do? Don't cheat on me. Like you know what I mean? Like, Are you gonna leave? But I loved him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-mm. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna get into that. This is the thing. At that age, I was very young and naive. I get that. And I felt like I didn't really know what to, like, I didn't know where I was going to go. I, I was get scared. That. I had just left from, like, dancing and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Imagine somebody just taking you, that. putting you up. Where am I going to go? I understand. You know what I mean? I'm going to go back to the club? Hell no. No, I get that. I ain't going back to the club. No, I get that. Part. So I did what I needed to do. And I experienced what a lot of women are now, you know, exp- I, I'm happy I experienced that at an early age because now. I'm definitely not like, yeah. But I feel like that's a. And man, if that, it happens now, just know that that you know. That but that's what I'm saying. Like I feel like that is an 18. Is but I feel true. like that is an 18 year old thing though. Like I mean, you, that is something that you learn at. Eight, like I'm not here to judge. But like, there's some women that deal with that currently. That are that's dealing with that currently right now. What I went through when I was 18. What do you say to those people? You really want to know? Yeah. Oh. What do you say to those people? You got the first hand experience. You don't have to pay for the pain and suffering. Mm. Every time. That checking account is going to keep shooting up. Wait, he going to have to pay pay for the pain? Pay for the pain and suffering. <sighs> what? It's the truth. I, I don't you get it. You want, if you're married or you're in, in a like, okay, I'm talking about like um, engaged or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not talking about boyfriend, girlfriend, little play play. Cause okay. you know what I mean? Okay. I was en- I was engaged okay. at that age. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm saying, like, what you gonna do? Like a lot a lot of women don't have what are they gonna do? Where are they gonna go? Mm. You don't understand these men kinda like take their independence away. It is important to be independent. You know what I mean? But where are they gonna go? So This is a fire conversation. They gotta right pay here. for the pain and suffering. I, I mean that's the best thing I tell them. And figure out which 
whatever money he's given, you better try to open up a business or have a plan B mm. and figure some stuff out so you're able to, you know, if you don't want to deal with it, you can go. Get back but a lot of women don't have a way out. I want you to get back in your uh, your mode like 10 minutes ago, right, when you was upset. I'm going to just I'm gonna, um, pitch something my idea, and I want I want to know, like, what? why am I wrong with that? What? So my first idea, when you say that, I'm like, yo, the, the money can't even be worth the the you going through like for me because again i'm not a woman i haven't gone through that i don't understand right clearly you 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 able to understand and to a deep, deeper connection and i think that's dope yeah, yeah but enlighten yeah. me like because for me it's like yo that's dumb like why would a woman stay with a man who's cheating even though he giving her money that don't make no sense no i'm saying like okay i'm i'm saying like for the deeper situations like people that are married you can't just up and go divorces aren't cheap can you know what i mean it takes a process so i just said at that point a lot of people stay married and you know why right Cause it's know, cheaper to cheaper. Yeah, you mm-hmm. know that saying, right? So think about on the woman's side, like a woman's just gonna stay because why? The money, mm. the kids. You know, you think she's gonna just go? What's she gonna do? So is that worth your 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 heart? No, it's not. I don't think so. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Like a lot of people. That's why I said with marriage, some people are marrying for love. Some people marry for money. Mm. Unfortunately, that's how life is. People marry because they are truly in love with the person, and pe- some people are married because of Financial wealth. Bro, that's that's like heartbreaking. Like about to get married, like just under hearing that and like And you can still love the person though, but through all of the heartbreak, through all of the cheating, all of the treating you bad, you still can love somebody. Wait, what? Through all of the heartbreak. Yeah. Through all of the cheating. Do still all love of, them? You can still love that person, you saying? Yeah, you I still love them. But you mean like still stay? Both. I mean that probably I mean, at that point, I'd probably be doing me, too. What's the point of being there? Yeah, like, you have to understand, like, marriage. I'm talking about married people. Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, like, I I see it today. I see it happen, like, in front. I see it happen every day. I watch people, I watch married men, and I watch married women that are out here really, like, it's just how society is. I'm not saying, like, I'm, unfortunately, I'm not in no situations. I'm not married, so I don't yeah, I, what are you I talking know. about? It's I don't know how I would react. I'm just saying, like, what I see, you know, happens. Mm. They stay because their husband is paying for their pain and suffering or they're taking care of the lifestyle or their kids or they're put up so they feel like, and I'm sure they're empty and broken in the inside. I'm very sure. Do they deserve that? Absolutely not. But mm. it's just how things are. That's crazy. That's how society has made marriage become. That's mm. why I had asked you in the beginning, like, like, wow, you're right, you're right, you know? And you were very confident about your marriage, and you don't see that too much, because these men walk around here, oh, I'm married, my wife this, my wife that. Yeah, nigga, real right. My wife this, and you be right there tricking on your uh, on the next girl. It's not crazy if you got a plan. He said, um, it's not crazy if you got a plan. What's your name again? I'm sorry, bro. CC is here. He said, it's not crazy if you got a plan, because they not going to hear. Um, now, I hear you. It, it's just unfortunate, because... I don't know. Like I just feel like you shouldn't go through that, no matter what. Like, I feel like a lot of times people put money over everything. Like they put money over themselves. They put money over like what they got inside, and they really empty because they put money over everything. And I feel like if you don't stand for something, you'll die for anything. So like if I can pay you to cheat on you and this great and 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 disrespect you, I can pay no, you. No, I'm anything. not saying I agree. I'm just saying it happens. I feel you, but yeah, I actually yeah, yeah. was your advice, but you said make sure you get paid for pain and suffering. That was your advice to the woman that's going through it. That's what your advice was. Yeah, or just leave. That's only the two things I can say. Because the only reason why I'm saying that is because realistically, what woman really just goes? Mm. Like, I'm a woman. I, like, these women, they say they're going to leave and they still stay because the men break them down. Mm. They break them to where they need them. You know what I'm saying? Realistically, what woman do you see just up and go? I do see some women get the fuck on, you know, and just go. But nine out of ten times... It's like a mental thing. I feel like I see more women get up and go than men for sure. I don't. No? I see a lot of women just, I I have friends, like not friends, I have associates that yeah. I see go through it. So it's like, I'm speaking from what I see and they'll, you'll just be like, why are you still there? And they'll stay around. So at that point, it's like, you're going to stay around and get cheated on and be looking stupid or are you going to, or are you going to tell him like, all right, you want to cheat? Go let him do what he want to do, but go open up. Go get some investment properties. Go flip this some money. Go so then you could be straight. And then mm-hmm. when you're ready to leave, you're you can leave with something because half of them don't have nothing to really leave with. Mm-hmm. So that's why they stay. 
that's why it's important to have your own too. But when you marry, like I said, some people marry for wealth. They don't marry because of love or they got their own stuff going on. So women marry because, oh, this man's going to take care of me. And it's just how it is nowadays. Mm. Oh, so when you crazy. don't have nothing, you kind of deal with those things. Now, I'm glad you were able to articulate that. That's what I way. meant. Like, no, that's fine. That's what I meant. Like, but part of pain, the pain and suffering, like, don't just sit around and be an idiot and be a doormat either. So you think it's like, like because I'm married to this man, it's okay for him to be out with this girl, this girl, this girl. And I'm supposed to sit here and just like, okay, no. Mm. Mm -mm. I think, I don't know. I just think infidelity is the one, when we talk about marriage, right? I think that's the one, that's the it's one wrong. reason you can leave in marriage. When we it's talk wrong. about God and Bible, that's the one reason why you can divorce and it's leave. It's wrong. It's 100% wrong. Mm. But we got to understand the, the work. We can... What's right is right, what's wrong is wrong, but in this generation, what we've created in society, it's messed up. This whole yeah. world, the whole the social media, all this stuff has messed up what marriage really is supposed to be and what relationships are really supposed to be. Mm. Like, these things don't really last or exist no more. Yeah, it's harder. It's very hard. It is. Not out here sure. in these streets. It's hard. It is. Social media, you know what I'm saying? Everything. Everything people think we have so much access and we really don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, people think just because you can see a fat ass or a pretty face on Instagram, like, bro, I can get that. Or I can sit next to somebody. It's like, I don't know. I just feel like I never, I don't know. I just never, like, believed in that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like what makes you different is what makes you special, right? So the fact that I can sit next to, I don't know, a beautiful woman that might got everything going on and still understand I got a woman at home. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's what makes me special. Like, and like, I feel like I wish a lot of people, I wish other people would see that in themselves. Because a lot of people, like, they fall short of temptation. Temptation is real, though. Temptation let's not, is... Let's not get it fucked up, right? Temptation is real, and I understand that, right? And I'm not... I would never Have cast self judgment. self-control, though. You know what I'm saying? But, like, that self that self-control is what make you stand out. Like, that consistency in your work is what make you stand and out. self-control is super big, and nah, that's good that facts. you have that. That's nah. why... I, but that's why I noticed that from you when I first sat down with you. I said, wow. Because you were very confident in... When I said, wow, are you... You know? Are oh, you yeah, ready for, for marriage? Sure. You were confident in your answer... And as I said, you don't hear that a lot from, that's why I said you don't hear that from a lot of black men nowadays. Mm. Because I know married men that are out here just acting a fool and cutting Having up. Having way. Just cutting up. It's tempting. And they're my friends. For like, sure, but. And I just, it is, it's kind of like, you know, I'm it's good. sad to see, you know? Yeah. Let me ask you this. How important is it to, to choose the right part, person? It's very important. Because even hanging around these guys that I know that are married, like, you know, and like I said, these are my homeboys, like my brothers. And I was like, damn, like, that could be me. Mm. So it kind of scares you a little bit, mm. you know? And Like, dang, like, and he got, you know, he's, like, well put together businessman. You know what I mean? Very successful, but it doesn't matter. It could be, I don't think it really matters. Mm. I feel like if a man is not ready, he's not ready. 